Hi everyone, my name is Jane and welcome to a new video. So I was watching back one of my first videos that I made was goth reacts to goth memes or something. And I remembered that I actually really loved making that video. Like it was just so much fun to do that. So I thought like, okay, let's do that again. Because the last few times that I reacted to goth memes and stuff, it was TikToks and Instagram reels and video kind of memes. But what I wanted to do today is react to some kind of old format memes is just picture memes. And we're gonna react to some relatable goth memes of those sorts. So how I found these was I literally went onto Google images and searched for goth memes. So you can probably find them there if you're looking for them. I also really love posting goth memes on my Instagram stories. So if you want to see those and if you want to stay up to date with my videos, do follow me on Instagram. Hi guys, really quickly, if you want to support my channel a little extra, you can become a channel member. You can subscribe on different levels to get exclusive benefits. Every member gets a membership badge next to their name, special emojis and member only posts. Higher levels of memberships can give you things like early access to my new videos and shout outs in my videos and on Instagram. Thank you all so much for your support. I appreciate you more than you know. Me, hello, do you have this in black? Lady in store? No, I'm sorry, but you can find it in other colors. Would you like to take a look? <laughs> wow, okay, yeah, this is actually relatable because it does happen to me a lot, especially when I'm shopping with people who are not goth themselves. <laughs> Everyone's always like, you can just get it in another color. And I'm like, no, I can't. I cannot get these in another color. If I find a really cool shirt that is black and they do not have my size, but they do have my size in white or pink or whatever, I will just not buy it. Like, I just have this kind of filter in my mind that when I go to a shopping store, I only see the black pieces of clothing. Like, I do not even look at anything that has a color. Like, I only look at the black pieces because that's just my aesthetic, that's my style, I like that. And a lot of people are like, just wear color. Like, that's not that difficult, but I just do not feel like myself when I'm wearing something super colorful. Like on some days, I really feel like wearing something white or wearing something in some color. Like sometimes that happens, that does happen. And sometimes I do get a colorful piece of clothing. But 99% of the time, that is just not an option for me. Like in my mind, that just doesn't work. Like it's just something that doesn't exist for me in my life. Like colorful clothing. Like that's just not my thing. So yeah, to me, super relatable. I always say like goths don't have to wear black and don't have to wear goth clothes, but I am totally that person that just only wears black. Like I just, I've been doing that since I was like 12 or something. It's just something that I grew into and I can never get out of it, you know? I am not a Coco Melon parent. You go and sit down and watch The Cure. First thing, very important, I do love The Cure. Like honestly, if I were to have kids, I would definitely teach them like the music that I'm into, like I would definitely show them the music that I like because that's exactly what my dad did for me and that is how I got into music and that is kind of how I got the music taste that I have today and that is how music became a really big hobby for me so I would definitely do the same for my kids if I were to ever have them. Honestly at the moment I'm not really thinking about having kids because I'm way too young for that and I'm just really focused on school or like university right now but honestly I am not a Coco Melon parent. You go and sit down and watch The Cure. If I had kids, I would just let them enjoy kid things. Like I would let them watch children TV programs. I would let them wear children clothes. Like I've seen some people on Instagram, some goth moms who are dressing up their baby in a goth way. But I personally, I don't think I would do that. Like. I think it's really cute, like it looks cute, I love the look of it, but I would want my kids to experience life as a kid and not as a goth, which is often a thing that people get into like around teenage years or maybe even later. Like honestly, I think kids need to wear colored clothes and they need to have colored toys and they need to watch children's programs and they need to hear children music and they need to have like all these things that all children usually have because I think that's just kind of an important part of your childhood like you need colors and you need a certain environment around you that is made for children and not something that is completely dark and goth because that is just not something that is meant for children if you understand what I mean like I would not make my child goth like I would not force it to listen to goth music like I would just show them and they can decide for themselves if they like it but I would not force them to listen to goth music or to wear gothic clothes or to like have all these black and white toys because I've seen that too is that people do not find it aesthetic enough to have colorful children's toys because their aesthetic is dark like I'm sorry but your child needs colors your child needs child things they need toys that are made for children they need clothes that are made for children they do not need 
gothic things because i don't know like your child will decide for themselves if they want to be goth when they're like in their teenage years or maybe later but like as a baby and like as a young child i don't think you should kind of make your child a total goth like i don't know how to explain it it just feels wrong to me you know but yeah anyway i would definitely show my child the cure uh, but i would also let them watch coco melon whatever that may be i don't know it it's not something from my time i think but like i would let them wear cute colorful baby clothes and i would give them like colorful toys and i would let them watch miraculous because honestly if you want to know a secret about me I love Miraculous, like, it's kind of like my guilty pleasure, but I actually watch this children's show and I love it. Like, don't ask me why, like, I know a lot of people are gonna judge me for this, but I love Miraculous. It's just so fun to watch. Like, yeah, that was just kind of a little secret about me. I love watching children's shows. I love Miraculous. But yeah, if I were to ever get children, I would raise them in the way that most people do and the way that I think is more in a children-like way. I would not raise them as a goth baby. I just, I just wouldn't do that. Creepy is subjective. What's creepy for you is bliss for me. Well, honestly, I personally would not like to be abducted by Slenderman, as in this picture. But yeah, the text on this meme is pretty relatable. Sometimes when I talk to people who are totally not into horror and into spooky stuff, I realize, like, my interests are so weird sometimes. Like, for example, at some point, I was explaining the movie Saw to someone, which, like, a lot of horror fans love saw they love talking about it they love the gore in it and they love the traps in the movies and pretty much everyone that i talk to a lot loves those things too like my brother loves it my boyfriend loves it my friends love that kind of movies so at some point i was talking to a classmate and i was kind of like explaining the movie to her because she didn't know these movies i was like oh you should watch this because it's so cool and she was like what you're so weird like what are you talking about how do you enjoy these movies like you're just literally watching fake blood and people in misery how do you enjoy that like for a second i just kind of felt ashamed because i was talking about that in a way like wow this is so cool and she was like no that is not cool <laughs> like obviously some people have different interests but sometimes i'm like yeah things that are kind of normal and like cool for me are just creepy and gross to some people which kind of maybe is the same the other way around because some of the music that people are into nowadays is to me just creepy and gross because i had never heard of this ice spice person but recently i saw a video on her and about her lyrics and i was like this is what people are into like what then watching saw isn't weird at all because her lyrics are like what How, why do you listen to that guys come on no hate to her no hate to any of her fans like i know everyone's into something different I'm into a lot of weird stuff. I just literally mentioned that I watch Miraculous for fun. So I cannot judge. Like, I have no right to judge you for what you like. But yeah, anyway. For me, there are some things that are not creepy. That are so gross and creepy to others. Well, for me, some things are just really weird and gross. When, like, a lot of other people do enjoy it. Like, it's just, sometimes it's so crazy to me. I hope I'm not totally sounding like some kind of pick me. I'm not trying to sound like that. Like, I'm just stating the fact that I have interests that are different than a lot of other people are interested in. I'm not trying to sound like I'm better or I'm more special than them, okay? That's not what I'm trying to say. But yeah, basically what I was trying to say is that like people have such different views on those things. Like, I just think that's so funny. That's so cool. It's Friday, I'm in gloves. That was obviously a reference to the song Friday, I'm in love. First of all, I do really love that song. But second of all, Friday, I'm in mean gloves. Honestly, it's so true. Because oftentimes, Friday is the day where I dye my hair. Because for the weekend, I need to look cool. Because in the weekend, I'm going to do stuff, you know. So Friday is the perfect day to touch up my hair. Because I often have it dyed, as you can see. And the day where I fix it is often on Friday. And to dye my hair, I need gloves. I actually wear the exact same gloves as in this picture, like the blue medical gloves, because I stole them from my work. Well, I didn't steal them, don't worry. Don't like report me to the police or something. I asked if I could have a box and they said yes, but I use these medical gloves to dye my hair. So yeah, Friday, I'm in gloves. Oh, I need a t-shirt that says this. Like this would be perfect for like a really stupid print on a t-shirt. Goth when the music sounds like a metal pipe falling on concrete. That's actually a pretty good description of goth music, in fact. No, but to be really honest, when I'm listening to like goth music on Spotify, some of those older bands from like the 80s, 
the the quality on spotify can be so bad that it can literally just break my ears like sometimes it does actually sound like someone's just slamming a metal pipe on some concrete because the quality of the recording of the music is just so old and it's so bad that it just feels like my brain is bleeding when i'm listening to it like especially when i'm wearing headphones there are certain goth songs that are just so old and so awfully recorded that i just know exactly at what point i need to mute or need to turn down the volume in the song because it's just gonna sound awful because sometimes there's just one instrument or one part of the song that just sounds really awful and not because it is actually awful but because the quality is just so awful and then it's just put on spotify like that and then i'm just listening to it enjoying the song and then this part in the song comes or this instrument comes that just makes my brain bleed because it sounds so awful. But I still listen to the song because the song is just good, you know. It's just, yeah, it's such an annoying struggle with, like, this kind of music. Talking to a goth girl. Yeah, I love that Bauhaus song. Looks at smudged writing on palm. Baby Lewitch is dead. <laughs> That joke is so bad. That was like a total dad joke. But anyway, I've seen multiple memes of this sort when I was scrolling for memes. Like normie guys trying to attract a goth girlfriend like then a guy wearing a Bauhaus t-shirt. Like apparently that is sort of like a way for guys to attract goth girlfriends. Which is like, yeah, cool. Like I would totally be like, oh, you know them. Oh, that's so cool. Like what's your favorite song from him or whatever, you know? But if you're actually going to flirt with a girl who you want to be with, she is gonna find out that you don't actually listen to that music eventually. She's gonna ask questions, You're she's gonna try and talk about it, and you're gonna be really embarrassed because you're like, well, actually, I don't listen to them. I just kind of did this to attract goth girls. Like, wouldn't that be really stupid? I don't actually know if people actually do this because it just seems like a really stupid idea now that I think of it. Like, first of all, you'd have to think like, oh, I really want to attract a goth girl today. That sounds so weird. Like, I'm going to try to attract the goth girls. Like sounds pretty weird already or maybe these people know a goth girl that they really want to be with but how do you come up with this tactic like you'd need to do a lot of research like you'd need to go through all their songs just to impress someone like that's just a lot of effort for something that is probably not even needed because honestly i think it's better to just be yourself and even if you said to me like i really love rap music or whatever i think i would appreciate that a lot more than if you would lie to me about what music you like because let me tell you something i do not have any statistics or whatever or facts but based off my experience and based off my knowledge about goth girls and about the friends that i have that are goth most goth girlfriends aren't actually looking for a goth boyfriend like most of us actually fall for pretty normal or basic guys sounds kind of weird to say but i've seen a lot of memes and a lot of posts about it that a lot of alternative girls are just more into like the basic guys or like the nerdy guys like something like that most goth girls that i know do not have a boyfriend that is also alternative so trying to act like you're also into goth i don't think that's necessarily a really good tactic because a lot of goth girls do not really mind if you're not very goth yourself at least in my experience that is often not really needed because i have a boyfriend who is totally not alternative at all like he listens to eminem and logic and like all that kind of rapper stuff and i'm totally not into that i can tolerate it but it's not my thing and we're still like happily together for three years so yeah he does not have any goth interest at all i just find it important that my partner tolerates my music so if we're sitting in a car for example I always want to play the DJ in the car, like I'm the one who picks the music when we're in the car. So obviously I'm always going to play goth music and I'm going to play rock music and all that type of stuff. So kind of the only thing that I expect from a partner is that they will tolerate my music so that they will at least tolerate listening to that in the car with me. You know, they don't have to be really big fans of it, they don't have to listen to it themselves, they just need to tolerate the fact that I like listening to that. But yeah, that's kind of the only thing that I personally expect from a partner, is that they just tolerate me the way I tolerate their interests. But I do not really expect someone to know all the goth bands and to know all the goth songs and to be a fan of it and to have merch from Bauhaus. Like, the way to flirt me up isn't necessarily to also be into the same music as me. Like, some people find that really important. I personally don't. Obviously, I want a partner who has the same interests in me in some ways. Like, for example, me and my boyfriend are both gamers, so we play games a lot together. We both really like traveling, so we go traveling a lot. You know, those things are more important to me 
that my partner likes them too than just my music. So personally for me, you will not attract me with a Bauhaus t-shirt or like knowing a Bauhaus song or any cult song at all. So like it's definitely cool if you like the same music as I do, like I would not like reject you for that, but trying to act like you're into cult music when you actually aren't, that is just too much. I know there's a lot of videos about like how to attract a goth girl or how to talk to goth girls, but maybe I should make one of those videos too soon, like about how I would think you would approach a goth girl best. Because personally, I think you just need to act like a normal person if you want to attract a goth girl, because goth girls are also just girls. They're not necessarily all that different. So the way you would approach a normal girl is how I would say you could approach a goth girl. So those were all the memes that I wanted to react to today. I wonder if some of these were relatable to you. Do let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences with these things. I just love hearing from you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing leave a like and a comment on the video and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye